Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen about the concept derivation and past in compiler design. Now let us see about ambiguity in grammar. On the basis of number of derivation trees, grammars can be classified into two types. They are ambiguous grammar and unambiguous grammar. Now let us see the definition of these two. A grammar is said to be ambiguous if there exists more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation or more than one pass tree for the given input string. So if any of these three criteria exist, then it is called as ambiguous grammar. We already know the concept of this leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation and pass tree from our previous lecture. If the grammar is not ambiguous, then it is called as unambiguous. That is, if none of these three criteria exist, then it is called as unambiguous grammar. If the grammar has ambiguity, it is not good for the compiler construction. But there is no method which can automatically detect and remove the ambiguity. The only technique is we can remove the ambiguity by rewriting the whole grammar without ambiguity. So we have seen the definition of these two grammars. Now let us see about the ambiguous grammar with an example. So we are provided with the production rules here e tends to i, e tends to e plus e, e tends to e star e, e tends to e and i tends to epsilon or we can write any of the digits from 0 to 9 and consider the input string given 3 into 2 plus 5. Now we have to apply these production rules on this particular input string and construct the pass tree. If we are getting more than one pass tree then it is considered as ambiguous grammar. So let us start with the start symbol which is the root node. So e is the start symbol. Uh, and uh, it has been considered as a root node and this e can be written as uh, e star e because we need multiplication here. So this e is expanded to e star e and this e can be expanded to digit. So if we want digit we need i. So first uh, i can be written in place of e. So i in place of e and this i can be written as 3. Now expand this e. So this e can be written as e plus e. And this e can be written as i. i is written as 2. And here i can be written as uh, e can be written as i and i can be written as 5. So if we scan from left to right, we can see 3 into 2 plus 5. So we have got the input string given. So this is pass tree number 1. Now let us check for another pass tree. So e can be written as e plus e. So we are considering rule number 2 here. And then this e can be written as e star e. That is rule number 3. So e star e. And this e can be written as i. And i can be written as 3. And now this e can be written as i. i can be written as 2. And here this e can be written as 5. That is i and then 5. So we can scan from left to right. That is 3 into 2 plus 5. So we are getting another pass tree. So if we are getting more than one pass tree, then it is called as ambiguous grammar. So this is applicable for leftmost derivation also. We have two leftmost derivation because if we see from the tree, we are expanding only from the left to right in both the pass trees. So this is also having two leftmost derivations. So thus, this grammar is ambiguous grammar. So thus, we have discussed about the concept of ambiguous and unambiguous grammar. Thank you.